Heidi High Campers. Sorry the video is a little bit offset. Um, there's this big fireball in the sky somewhere around there. But it's so bright I can't even see my screen to see what I'm videoing. So I'm just going to have to hope it's pointing in the right direction. Um, so I thought I'd do a little video today. Um, today's been quite a good day. Um, something like I follow on YouTube, a guy called Koyagi Designs. Um, absolute crackpot bloke, um, but lovely. Um, he ordered a couple of bits off the off the website. Um, just a couple of tank connectors. Um, just what he needed for his new barrel moving bed that he's uh, making. Um, we've chatted a bit on, on WhatsApp and that sort of thing. We, we have a bit of banter now and again. So uh, he's absolutely obsessed with Shisui. He wants a pond full of Shisui. He's in love with Shisui. It's like Fatal Attraction. Um, so uh, as some of you have seen on previous videos, my missus does uh, a little bit of painting. Just purely as a, a bit of a hobby. So she painted him a tancho of Shisui, which he knew he was going to get because I basically won uh, the Baldy Reefers raffle against him and he's never let me forget it. And uh, I said one day, mate, I'll get you a Shisui, don't you worry. So I sent him a Shisui. Probably not quite what he expected, but he's got a picture. And uh, yeah, he uh, he did this unboxing video, so he knew he was getting the picture, and the look on his face is just absolutely classic. Um, the sort of look you can't fake. He was unwrapping it on camera, and it just made me smile. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description if I remember. Um, so he's unboxing this and he's got his got his picture out and he's got his tank connectors out. What he didn't know is I put a skeggy mug in there. Um and he wasn't expecting that one. And he hasn't, hasn't had any mugs off anyone. So uh, yeah, he's uh, now got a mug to keep his pens in. But yeah, it's it's a cracking little video. Um I think he's only got about 60 subscribers, so if you guys uh, give him a sub, because he does some really good stuff, he, he's a bit of a wizard with a CNC machine, I wouldn't know where to start, but he does some really nice CNC stuff, um, nice plaques and, and that sort of thing, he's done memorial plaques for people, he's, he's, he's quite a clever cook in that respect, and... Um, yeah, I don't know what that bang was. I'm a little bit worried because we've got structural damage to the roof in here from that storm. And that little bang was like either a bird flying over and dropping something or or the roof's about to fall in. So if you don't get any more videos of me, you know why. I'm buried under a conservatory roof. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he, he does some quite clever stuff. He makes some nice little um, holders for the test, it, test kit test tubes. Um, I think he, uh, he'll he make them any size you want. So if you've got the NT Labs or the API or whatever you've got, he'll he'll make the holes the, the right size if you tell him what holes you want in it. He'll put your channel logo on it. He'll put a little message in it. He'll do whatever you want really and customise it up for you. Um, so yeah, he, he does some nice stuff um, and quite reasonable as well. And he's trying to uh, set himself up a little business doing that. And uh, I'm all for supporting small businesses. Um, so yeah, shout out to him. Go and check his channel. And um, yeah, I think one of his little test tube holders, nice wooden test tube holder, all all personalised is about twenty twenty five quid, something like that. It's not not mega money. Um, so fair play to the guy. He's he's trying to save up for a, a bigger CNC machine at the minute. Um, but they're quite pricey. Um, he wants to be able to do sort of multiple jobs at once rather than doing one job at a time. So he's looking to expand it and grow it. And any help that anyone can give him, 
fantastic. Uh, yeah, so that's that's that one. As I say, the link for that will be in the in the description. Um, and then we come on to my little business, and I'm struggling with ideas of how to promote it. Uh, I know we all have our, our favourite websites that we go to, or we go to Amazon or wherever. But um, as I said earlier, I quite like supporting small businesses. And I'm struggling to think of ways of promoting the business um, that it's going to get out to a, a relatively wide audience. Um, because as I've said in videos before, I like to do things a little differently. I'm not trying to build it into a multi-million pound business. Um, I quite like a, a nice little business that gives the kids a bit of a better life. Um, I've already got a business. It's been hit by the pandemic. Um, so this was uh, something a, a little bit more mainstream than the niche business I was in. And uh, I'm just hoping it starts to uh, to turn around a little. Short of um, spending a fortune on major advertising campaigns, which I just haven't got now, um, I'm uh, I'm wondering how to promote it. So if any of you guys have got ideas or can help in any way, uh, drop me a shout in the comments. Um, if any of you have looked at the website, it's www.skegnesspondsupplies.com and you can think of things that I still need to add to the website. I'm still adding products all the time. Uh, let me know. Um, it's not necessarily going to be a case of I'll keep them in stock. I'll put them on a back order basis and you know it will be a 10 14 day turnaround for, for most stuff on back orders but uh, if you're not in a hurry for it not really a problem um, so if you can think of anything I really need to, to crack on and add on there uh, let me know um, I will be adding some back order stuff on there already um, over the, the coming weeks uh, I just want to try and expand the product range into um, something a lot bigger um, than I've got at the moment and without about 20 grand sat in the bank it's actually quite difficult to, to do um, and although um, I, I, I want the business to succeed um, Nervously, I put quite a lot of money at risk on it, and I, I don't really want to start remortgaging houses and that sort of thing to to try and uh, force it to grow bigger too soon. So, if you can help out in any way, even if it's a quick shout out on YouTube or a quick link on Facebook or something like that, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you've got any other ideas of how to market it a bit more uh, without costing the earth my ears are, are open um, I, I'd really like this to, to work uh, I think if you enjoy the job you do you never really work a day in your life and um, you know, I've been keeping coy a long time I used to work in the game a long time ago when I was 18 and boy have things changed since then um, but I don't want to be the next Quenny Coy. Um, I don't want to be the next Absolute Coy. Uh, that's not my intention. Um, but I have a, a different ethos. Uh, I don't want to have a million employees. I want to be able to look after my customers. Um, and 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 just have a have a nice little business ticking over. So. Yeah, any ideas would be great on that score. But the main uh, the main reason for this is uh, Gavin Koyagi Designs. Go give the guy a uh, go and have a look um, at his video. Give him a sub, and um, yeah, we'll we'll see if we can't get him closer to a hundred or something. I think he'd quite like that. 
So, uh, yeah, from a, a gloriously sunny Skegness kind of area, um, I'm going to go and enjoy the fish for a bit, I think. So, uh, until the next time, as my old man used to say, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs>